Hey guys, today I wanna to show you the best workout for lower back pain. Anyone from somebody that's brand new to exercise all the way to an advanced athlete is gonna get a lot of benefit from these movements and from this workout. And make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you my three best stretches for lower back pain. All right, so lower back pain is a very common issue, especially for people that work desk-based jobs or have a very sedentary lifestyle. Basically what happens is your hip flexors get really, really tight, your glutes and core weaken over time, which then creates excessive lumbar flexion, and this excessive flexion causes back pain and eventually a host of other movement issues. I'm also just gonna throw in there that any good workout starts with an even better warm-up. So if you haven't checked out my warm-up video, please check that out now. All right guys, let's hop straight into our first set. So the first exercise we're gonna do is the bird dog. So we're gonna be on our hands and knees, knees under hips, hands under shoulders, and we're gonna to wanna to brace our core and lift our opposite limbs up to parallel. Then back down and switch sides. You're gonna to wanna to do this for three sets of 10 repetitions per side. We're then gonna superset this and go immediately into the glute bridge. For the glute bridge, I want you to lie on your back and I want you to use your middle finger in contact with your heel to line up the distance. From there, you're gonna lift your hips off the ground, squeeze your glutes, and keep your core tight. Repeat this for three sets of 10 repetitions. If you're newer to exercise and you're just starting off and you don't wanna superset these exercises, you don't have to, and you can just do them all individually. To start off the next superset, we're gonna be doing a dead bug. So I want you to lie flat on your back, knees up, arms up, and then we're gonna be alternating opposite limbs down to the ground and back together, keeping your core very tight. You're gonna do this for three sets of 12 reps, which is six on each side. From there, we're moving into a banded lateral step. You're gonna to wanna to have a band of whatever tension is gonna work best for you. You're gonna slip it up to just above the kneecap. From there, we're assuming an athletic position. Think about a football player catching a hut. And then we're gonna do 12 steps to the right and 12 steps to the left. Repeat this for three sets of 12 steps per side. All right, so now we're onto the seated row. We're gonna to wanna to loop a band around a solid object. From there, I'm sitting back, I'm depressing my shoulders, and I'm pulling the band towards me and driving my elbows to the floor behind me. I'm thinking about using my back to pull the weight and not the tops of my shoulders. Make sure you control the band on the way back to the starting position, and make sure to squeeze at the back position. Repeat this for three sets of 12 reps. We're gonna go straight into a side plank or a modified side plank, depending on how strong your core is. For the regular side plank, you're wanna gonna have the bottom foot back and the top foot forward. Drive your elbow to the floor and squeeze your glutes, keeping yourself away from the floor. Make sure you do both sides and do three sets of 15 to 30 seconds on each side. If the full side plank is too hard, pull your knees back and do the modified side plank. Basically, we're just pushing our knee and elbow into the ground driving away from the floor and keeping our core braced. So last superset we're gonna do is gonna be the face pull to start off. So for this exercise, we wanna wrap a band onto a solid object about at eye level. I'm then gonna pull my shoulder blades back, pull my elbows back and the band towards my forehead. Repeat for three sets of 15 repetitions. And lastly, we're moving on to the reverse crunch. So we're gonna to wanna to lie on the ground with a solid object behind us that we can lightly grab onto. From there, pull your knees up to 90 degrees and pull your knees up towards your head, flexing the abs. It's crucial that we're focusing on using our abs to pull the weight and not the hands. Try to use the hands as little as possible. Do this exercise for three sets of 10 repetitions. So now that we've already done the workout, here's a little bonus for you guys. I got my three favorite lower back stretches. We're gonna start off with a sphinx pose. So we're gonna be lying flat on the ground and we're gonna come up into a sphinx position with our elbows on the ground, basically replicating the sphinx statue in Egypt. Make sure to relax your glutes and get a nice back stretch here. If this doesn't feel like enough, we can progress into a full cobra pose where we're pushing up onto the hands and deepening the stretch. Hold these stretches for a minimum 45 seconds, up to two minutes. The next one's gonna be a child's pose. So with your knees about hip width, rock your butt back towards your heels, reach your arms long, and rest your forehead on the ground. Think about melting your chest into the floor and relaxing your body. Hold this stretch for 45 seconds to two minutes. The third and final stretch is gonna be the recline twist. So starting from your back, pull one of your knees up to 90 degrees and pull it across your body. The opposite arm is gonna go out to 45 and your head is gonna to look towards the arm that's out. 
basically the opposite direction of the way the knee's going. Once again, hold this stretch for 45 seconds to two minutes and make sure that you do both sides. All right, guys, I hope the workouts and the stretches were super useful for you. I know they've been super helpful to a ton of my clients over the years and really helped them deal with their lower back pain issues. If you guys did get big benefit out of the video, please like the video, comment, subscribe as it really supports the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.